Hello, in this video we will demonstrate a sample of how to store the properties in the activity diagram actions or activities and get that property data during simulation into the value properties and then track over time. So this is quite common need because um, we want that uh, some properties would change during the behavior execution. And there are many ways to address this need. One way would be to store the properties in the constraint itself, as we can see here, duration constraint, right? And we can store that or opaque action, right? Uh, it could be uh, action, which is opaque action, which would uh, store the properties inside. But in this specific situation, we selected a method which is quite universal to store properties in the tagged values. So here we have custom stereotype applied for activities, right? And we can see here, this is the stereotype, right? Custom stereotype with mass and age properties. And then when we execute, we extract the data. So let's run the simulation and see how that works. So we see that it uh, executes and we extract the data and update the properties. So we track here value properties, but those value properties get updated based on the tag, tag values. So tag values comes from here, value properties comes from here. As you can see, each uh, system has crew, uh, system of interest external system and each of them inherits those properties, right? The mass and age. And then we have here, right? So then uh, they are behaviors are located to those uh, parts of the system. And we had assigned the tagged value to the value property. How that is done is actually, if we will go here, you see this calls uh, opaque behavior. And those are two opaque behaviors which are called in different places. And those opaque behaviors you can uh, check here. They are short uh, uh, codes uh, which uh, extracts the tagged value and sets that to the uh, to the tagged value value like here is age and sets that to the value property of age and here is another one extracts that value of mass and says to the mass property right again you could do another method without tagged values then you would have opaque action here and then store the values directly but this is exactly how to extract the tagged values with this uh, uh, with sample of the script. You can do it from uh, activities, you can do it from blocks and so on, and then set them to the value properties. And uh, that will result in uh, tagged values usage in simulation, which normally without this code would not be possible. So please check the sample and use it as a pattern for your models. Thank you.